The misunderstandings about mental illness as a terminal disorder for which you're then ostracized and you have no hope is a very prominent idea in our society, but it's completely untrue. We have lots of effective treatments. Treatment for kids probably popularly has focused more on medication, but we have a burgeoning research literature that says there are lots of ways to intervene and many of them are either are, are psychosocial in orientation, meaning we, we do things with kids, we do things with kids and families together. Um, and those can, some of those are very effective by themselves and some of them are uh, more effective in combination with medication. If medication is gonna help them get a good night's rest, so be it. If medication is going to help them maintain a school good school year, so be it. It's nothing wrong with putting a child on medication if it's going to help them. Honey, stop and take a look. You know, there are kids that act out, your typical child that acts out. But when you have a child that's running, jumping all over the place, cussing folks, something is wrong. We have lots of alternatives besides medication. I don't think that's well understood. Education for the child, for the parents, skill building, um, curriculum for the child, um, environmental initiatives that make the child feel more comfortable when they go to sleep or, or, um, or take some stress off of them so that they're less anxious. And, and perhaps don't need to proceed to a higher level of depression or mood disorder. Those are, those are the things we like to be creative about. My teachers have been really good about giving me extensions when I go into the hospital or giving me, my, giving me shortened assignments sometimes. Being successful in school is the most important predictor of, of overall success for all kids, but including kids with mental health disorders, for whom school often is a real struggle. We want them here as students. They need their education. If they're not here, they're not getting what they're supposed to get out of, out of life. Work together to get kids into treatment, kids, kids finding the right therapist, um, letting people know that, you know, the first therapist isn't necessarily the best therapist, not to quit, to find somebody that they can work together with. Um, if they're not happy with a regime of medication, to keep talking about that. Um, none of us know enough yet. And so it's real important to have those dialogues so that we ask the questions and get other people's experiences. I mean, every day I learn something new.